The SEC is getting attacked from all different directions, guys. It seems like clarity is in imminent and plus regulations are inbound as well. Pay attention. Today we have a lot to talk about from crypto law notice to all xrp holders tomorrow is a very important date so it seems like tomorrow april 26 at 1 30 p.m um pacific time a hearing will take place in federal court in ca california if i'm not mistaken on the class action case filed against ripple right in the ripple labs uh slash zakanoff versus ripple from 2020 the judge has opened online access to 500 members of the public through the, this login notice. So you guys can go ahead and uh, be an attendee as, as you guys can see right there with the login uh, information. Now, the hearing is for or, uh, oral arguments on the question of certifying the class of XRP holders suing a Ripple. Um, the plaintiff who owned XRP for two weeks is asking to be lead plaintiff in the class and is asking to represent all XRP holders who either owned it and sold it at a loss or own it today. He is arguing in the lawsuit that XRP is a security. Wait, what? So this seems to be a separate case right from the SEC versus Ripple uh, case uh, lawsuit. Then Johnny Deaton filed a motion for leave to file an amicus brief on behalf of 75,000 plus XRP holders in the case have their voices heard before the courts. His motion hasn't been ruled on yet. <laughs> So, so it seems like some, someone got mad and lost money with XRP, right? Possibly even trading it. And now he's going after XRP pop or Ripple, shall we say. Oh, I forgot to state this, guys. That isn't this so weird. In today's video, it's, it's all about the SEC, what's happening in the crypto industry, about regulations and clarity and all these things. But we are in the month of scales and justice from the Baba Cook's timeline, right? Or the Red Alert timeline as well, guys. Pay very close attention. It seems like things are about to accelerate even quicker and faster. No doubt, not financial vice. So, but this is just hilarious to me, guys, right? Now, it sure seems like tomorrow is an important date. But then, on the other hand, we have Coinbase again, guys. Today's a lot of a lot of talk about Coinbase recently. Why? Because they're, they're going after the SEC. But before we talk about all that stuff, Brian Armstrong is so confident in Coinbase strategy that he's building an offshore tether fraud exchange, suing the SEC and dumping more Coinbase stock. Guys, you can't make this stuff up, as you guys can see. Basically, this number of, number of shares or other units to be sold 14,865 shares guys basically about almost a million dollars right of coinbase stock if i'm not mistaken some other people did state that this was a this was a uh scheduled selling date right now check this out though from coinbase themselves shields up you guys know what that means right hmm you guys ready seems like coinbase is on our side guys why well, you guys have to remember from Mr. Pool. What did, remember this picture, right? From Mr. Pool, he posted this uh, image or logo, which is literally the Coinbase logo, guys, right? Which tells us that Coinbase time has come. Why? And it seems like they are accelerating the push for uh, regul regulations and regulatory clarity for the entire space altogether, right? So now we are definitely joining forces, guys, and becoming one to fight off the SEC. Update, Coinbase takes aggressive going on offense action and sues the SEC. This is crazy. The lawsuit focuses on a petition filed by Coinbase last year focused on rulemaking and digital and digital assets. So it has truly begun, guys, as we see right here. Justin Coinbase sues the SEC seeking regulatory clarity for the crypto for the entire crypto industry, guys, right? Wow. So this is looking very beautiful because it sure seems like the case, possibly even the Ripple for SEC case concludes here soon. XRP is granted uh, clarity and we're off to the races, right? Literally, XRP pumps and never stops and possibly even all coin season starts, right? The bull run accelerates even faster, guys. We're not making this stuff up. You guys ready? Because uncertain regulations have been the highlight of the United States crypto market. This sentiment has even pushed several out of the country. The stringent, the stringent oversight of the Securities and Exchange Commission in particular has brought immense stress to the market. Prominent in crypto, uh, cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase is clearly on a mission to change this as it went on a, on a on to file a court against the court's action against the SEC. Now basically they're demanding for more clarity around cryptocurrency laws in the United States, right? So this is really interesting guys. What's going to happen next? What will Coinbase do after the SEC responds, right? So it's important for the SEC and any other agency pe uh, petition for rulemaking to respond. The petition 
Once the agency has made up its mind, especially if the answer is no, otherwise the public can never exercise its right to ask a court if the agency's decision was proper, right? Look at this, check this out. Regulation, uh, regulatory clarity is overdue for our industry, yet Coinbase and other crypto companies are facing potential regulatory en enforcement actions from the SEC, even though we, do, we have not been told how the SEC believes the law applies to our business, right? So it seems like Coinbase is fed up at this point heavily, guys, right? Brian, Ar uh, Brian Armstrong, all these people, major players in the crypto industry, in the crypto sphere, and now they're going after the SEC, right? Co-founder and CEO at Coinbase stated, important development right here, which we'll talk about in just a second before we do from attorney Jeremy. The best defense is, the, is a good offense. Coinbase first... SEC, it's time. Apparently, Coinbase wasn't going to just sit around and wait for the inevitable lawsuit from the SEC. Exactly. So the question is, given this, do you, do you have any other thoughts as to why Coinbase removed XRP from their platform when Ripple was sued? Right. Two, they haven't relisted it, considering they haven't delisted other um, DAs such as Algo that have recently been claimed to be a security in file documents. So basically Coinbase was hoping by, del by delisting XRP, they could stay out of the SEC's crossbars, obviously mistaken. So why don't they just relist XRP at this point guys, right? I mean, Uphold has, right? So 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 Uphold has to this day guys, they, they never delisted it. And by the way, if you guys would like to buy XRP, you guys can buy, buy it through Uphold. I do have a referral, referral link down in the description below guys. Now. Basically, what do we see right here? From the chief legal officer at Coinbase. Today, we filed a narrow action in the United States cir Circuit Courts to compel the SEC to respond yes or no to a rulemaking petition we filed with them last July, asking them to provide regulatory guidance for the crypto industry. Right? The SEC is required by law to respond to petitions within a reasonable time. Interesting. Within a reasonable time. Could that be a year? Months? Right? Possibly during the collapse? Before it? Who knows? After it? But they have not yet responded to our petition from last July. Interesting. So it could take a while there then. Which is why which is why we filed our action in court today. Interesting, right? So the SEC supposedly the SEC is now trying to delay everything, guys. Now for what purpose, right? Again. Because they're 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 being told from the higher ups, guys, right? The puppeteers to delay everything as much as possible because it needs to be tied in with the collapse, right? The ritual. It's obvious that there is a lack of uh, clarity among our regula regulators regarding crypto, as even the chair of the SEC has declined to say which crypto assets are securities, right? Even they don't know, guys. This is how you know this is a whole show and it's messed up, right? The crypto industry and its users need clearer laws and rules to follow that, that are built for a new technology. Enforcement actions based in applic applicable uh, securities laws aren't the answer, right? Coinbase should realist XRP. Exactly, guys, right? If they want to, if they want to, put their stance out there officially, then they should literally relist XRP, guys, right? Coinbase takes another formal step to seek regulatory clarity from the SEC for crypto industry for the crypto industry, TLDR. Coinbase has filed a narrow action, uh, and uh, filed a narrow action in federal court to compel the SEC to do one simple thing, respond yes or no to Coinbase's pending rulemaking petition that asks the SEC to provide overdue guidance for the crypto industry, right? Now, will they, will they not? They're getting sued, guys. This is just crazy. People are going actually after these government agencies, right? This is just crazy to me. Can't believe we're living today, guys, right? Wow. At Coinbase, we believe crypto and blockchain technology have the ability to increase economic freedom and opportunity around the world. This is exactly why they're going to tie it in with the collapse, guys, right? Because they're going to implement a new financial system. When they do, Ripple vs. SEC case concludes literally right here. It's the ability to increase economic freedom and opportunity around the world, guys, right? By what? That's why we are working hard to help update the financial system. Guys, do you guys not see it right here? I have to zoom it in for you guys. Um, Literally right here. Update the financial system. By what? Products that expand the utility and adoption of crypto, right? Include Ripple and XRP there. You can't make this stuff up, guys. It's, this is beautiful. This is looking very beautiful for our side, right? Because we're looking for what? Clarity right there, guys. So until the crypto industry gets that clarity, we'll continue to take every step available to, to us to seek it, which includes today's filing. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's prepare. Now from Metal, uh, Metal Law Man. 
Here's what you should know about the Coinbase suit against the SEC. This will move fast, unlike the Ripple case. Wow, that's so that's so crazy, guys. Why the hell is the damn Ripple case taking so many years, guys? But Coinbase can just come in, and it's, and it's going to be done and over with soon. This case begins in appellate court, not the trial court. There will be no discovery, dispositions, and document exchange. Just a brief, uh, just brief just briefing and a hearing basically right and they got in uh, an all-star legal team guys so is the sec scared at this point mm, probably right no well definitely because they have to give clarity and guidance here soon if they don't then <laughs> gary is definitely going to get fired guys right so this this is a whole ploy or a or a whole show guys towards a climax right um and, and will this help with uh, the Ripple case possibly with the XRP case? Who knows, guys? Probably because they they are we are um Coinbase is asking for guidance, right? Now, while Coinbase action does not directly affect pending SEC cases against Ripple XRP, Bitrix, and others, it does a great job of shining a spotlight on the SEC's contradictory positions about its authority to regulate digital assets other judges will take note exactly, guys. So it's game over. It seems like Ripple and XRP are about to get clarity here soon, or XRP will. Be getting clarity here soon right um this space will have will be granted guidance guys so let's prepare now south korean court says luna, uh, terra luna is not a security if if a ponzi scam like luna isn't a security then xrp is definitely not a security what is this guys they literally stated that luna <laughs> the coin that literally imploded on itself is not a security how is this possible um, I mean, wait, this is, wait, what's happening here, guys? This, if this doesn't tell you that the Ripple for SEC case is just merely a show, then I don't know what can, right? According to Korean media, a South Korea Seoul, uh, Southern District's court rejected the prosecution claims that the Luna coin is a security. I can't believe it, guys, right? Oh, wow. Just stop it. At the same time, uh, jo Joseph Lubin has uh, j just filed an amicus brief in support of the SEC case. Wow! Against what, guys? Uh, Coinbase going after the SEC, right? Now, uh, this person right here, Ethereum co-founder, praises Gary Gensler as shrinking, as shining knight of decentralization. You can't make this stuff up. What, I, what, what, guys, what's happening here? Right? ETH gates, remember? Consensus CEO Lubin, SEC isn't hurting crypto innovation. Wow! If this is true, guys, it's a joke. Wow, it might be a joke for now, but give it a week. Exactly, right? Guys, these people, even though, even though this may be a joke, right? Just merely a joke. Well, you know, you know what's not? Just give it some time, guys, and the truth will be revealed. Last but not least, from Eleanor Tourette, new a source close to Binance on whether the exchange plans to join Coinbase in suing uh, at the SEC. Right, is possibly Binance coming into play as well. Company leadership is highly supportive of Coinbase and their efforts to bring reason and clarity to the United States crypto regulations. However, the company is still dealing with the repercussions of FTX's previous campaign in Washington, D.C. to paint their Canadian CEO, CZ, as a Chinese communist and fears their involvement in the discussion could be counterproductive at this point. Interesting why Binance is not trying to help Coinbase fight off the SEC, right? They state it's because of the FTX debacle from back then, guys. I don't know. You let me know. But to say the least, it sure seems like things are getting very interesting here, guys. Let's pay attention, prepare, and beware. Not financial advice. But anyways, that's what I'm amazing. See you.